The mobile application, which has been developed under the Mesty M Health project, can operate with or without internet. It has two sections, a pad for ordinary Ghanaians and a place for medical personnel. The app will be used to gather data on disease symptoms, which will then be analyzed by medical personnel for swift intervention. To address language barriers, the app is equipped with language translation features. Beyond this, users can seek virtual consultation and emergency care among others. Dr. Rosemary Usua Mensa Jenin is principal investigator of the project. That is going to disseminate health information. We are going to use the app as a means to collect data, analyze the data to do forecasting predictions so that we can avoid some of the breakout outbreaks that come around or we can take in proactive measures to deal with emerging health challenges. So we are looking at a point where people will use the app, provide some information on let's say symptoms and then we can come up to a, a certain point where we can say that we feel that people in the northern region are complaining about these symptoms within this time of the year. So what should Ghana Health Service do then? So we have medication reminders where people can log in the drugs they are supposed to take so that they'll be given reminders when it's time to take them and when the drugs are running out. One very notable feature which for us is very uh, encouraging is language translation. So we are looking at reaching underserved communities. Some don't speak English, some speak Chi, some speak Ga. So we are finding innovative ways of bringing the app to the language of the ordinary Ghanaian. We have a number of languages that we have targeted. And as we go on, we are going to extend it so that we don't cut off majority of the population. Then health, education, and awareness. The app is constantly going to give us information climate aware information and other forms of information so that we can plan our lives accordingly. And then community forums and support groups. So people within a community can form a forum and chat, talk about things of interest and see the way forward. Now this app is in two folds. The part where the Ghanaian populace can use and then the other section which is going to be used solely by medical personnel. So they can use the app to communicate among themselves, share relevant information, and also transfer patient history, um, make appointments as and when necessary. We also have avenues for emergency assistance and virtual consultations. Dr. Emmanuel Ahene is school investigator. You would look at the regions we have in Ghana, you would realize that in almost every region in Ghana, there is this group of people who would have limited access to healthcare. And those are the people who are targets to ensure we use this mobile technology to enhance their access to healthcare. The app, jointly developed by KNUST Colleges of Science and Health Sciences, is funded by the International Development Research Center through the Ministry of Environment, Science and Technology and Science Granting Council's Initiative in Sub-Saharan Africa. Reporting for Joy News. Kwesi Debra.